everyone welcome back it's Kathy here today I'm going to show you all the ways that and all the meals that I can get out of just one roast chicken you know in these times of expensive cost of living and everything else it's now it's more important than ever to get as many meals as you can to stretch your food so that you can feed a lot of people and do it at minimal cost and this is something that we do and I thought it might be something that you guys would like to see. I've got a video that shows you how I roast chicken so I'll put the link to that below rather than go through that all again but um, that shows you how I do it and I still do it that way at the moment because the wood stove it's too hot to heat it at the moment so I use the toaster oven to do that. So what I do is first of all I roast the chicken and then I get the liquid from it um, because it cooks itself in its own juices it actually gives me like a, a bit of a broth at the bottom of it and with that once the chicken's cooked what I do is then I pull the meat off the chicken and I start to use that and I stretch it as far as I can so the first thing that I do is I usually make some sort of quick meal out of it and here I've made a san choy bao with just with some lettuce leaves and I put the the chicken meat in it and you can put mayonnaise and spring onions and all that sort of stuff on it I also eat it the roast chicken as a roast and I've got that there with some veggies then when I've finished plucking all the chicken off the carcass I put that into the slow cooker and I add in some more veggies and water and some apple cider vinegar some salt and pepper and some spices and garlic and I cook that usually all day and sometimes all night as well and that makes a slow cooker broth which is just absolutely beautiful and then I use that broth to make chicken soup we also use the broth we crack eggs into to it and have it like a a bit like a faux um, with noodles and vegetables and all that sort of stuff in it as well I also use the chicken to make fried rice and I even cook the rice in the broth or the leftover chicken juice it just gives it like a really really nice flavor and the excess broth I normally put into jars and I just put it in the freezer I don't bother canning it because we go through it so quickly and then what's left after I've strained out the broth is left behind some veggies and some meat I pull all the vegetables out and I give that to Oscar for dog food so there's no waste whatsoever so you start with the chicken you get the cooking liquid from it you get the meat then you can make broth with the bones and then at the end you get dog food out of it as well so there's quite a lot that you can do with it and you just make it go a long way rather than just having the chicken eating it throwing the bones away you know this is just a really really good way to get value for money so I hope I've helped you out there with some ideas on what you can do with a chicken and how far you can make that go because it is really important to be able to get the most that you can out of what you're buying and even you know if you don't raise the chicken your own if you're paying a little bit more for a better quality chicken this is a good way to be able to justify doing that because you just you're getting more out of it than just one meal and you know sometimes we get tired and we don't want to do all these things but I find if I'm not going to make the slow cooker broth straight away I'll wrap up the bones and I'll put them in the freezer well I hope you got something out of that and I hope it can be useful to you as well so guys thanks for watching and I shall see you again soon bye mm -hmm.